This little pedal board here is totally MIDI controllable. Let's set it up from scratch. I'll show you exactly how to do it, how to get exclusive preset mode with our Bridge 4 MIDI controller, and how to change everything with just one foot switch at a time. Let's go. Okay, before we get into it, let me just give you a quick rundown of what we're gonna do today. First, we're gonna go through all the cables on the pedal board, how everything's connected to the MIDI controller. Then we're gonna set the MIDI channels on each of the three MIDI controllable pedals. Then we're gonna go through some essential global settings on the Bridge 4 MIDI controller before we add all of the program change messages and the switch groups that's gonna allow us to use one switch to change to completely different presets on each of those pedals. Then we're gonna send some test messages, make sure it's all working properly. Then we'll play some audio through the pedals so you can hear a little bit of what kind of power we can leverage with the MIDI controller. Okay, over to the workbench. Okay, so we have our Bridge 4 MIDI controller, our Jet Pedals LAM programmable overdrive, our Strymon Iridium amp and impulse response cab simulator, and our Jet Pedals Eternity space delay. We've got a power supply hooking all these pedals up with 9 volt DC. We have input from my audio interface going into the LAM, Audio goes out mono into the Strymon Iridium and then out of the Iridium mono into the Jet Eternity. Then we go out of the Eternity into the audio interface. For MIDI control from the Bridge 4, we have three TRS jacks plugged into the Bridge 4, each going to a pedal. So we have Flexiport 1 heading over to the Eternity Delay, Flexiport 2 to the Strymon Iridium and the main MIDI out is converted from 3.5 mil TRS to quarter inch TRS and that's going into the LAM. And lastly we have the USB from the Bridge 4 going into the laptop so we can use the web editor to add MIDI messages and set up the Bridge 4. So the first thing we need to do is set MIDI channels across all these devices so that we know which channels to send our MIDI messages to. If they're all set to the same channel then messages will get confused when we send them from the Bridge 4 they will be received on multiple devices. Whereas if we set each pedal to a different number, it will just ignore any messages that it receives on a, any different channel number. Okay, so here's how to set the channel on the LAM. We unplug the power, hold down the preset switch and plug in the power. And now the bypass switch flashes the number of that the MIDI channel is. So it's flashing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we'll release the preset switch and let it boot up. Our LAM is in channel 7. So note that down. Okay, for the Strymon Iridium, we'll remove the power, hold down both foot switches, plug it back in. And now we have our fave switch flashing blue. That means we're on a custom MIDI channel. Now we want to turn the drive knob down until we get to amber that will mean we're on midi channel 2. We'll press the on foot switch to store that setting flashes green and now we are in normal operation mode. To set the midi channel on the eternity delay we hold down the bypass switch while applying the power. Okay now the bypass switch here is flashing it's on midi channel 1 and if we change the control knob this actually will change it. It's one, two, one, two, three. Let's put it on channel three. We'll press the bypass switch again to exit and save. And now the eternity delay is on MIDI channel three. So our bridge four will be controlling the LAM on MIDI channel seven, the Iridium on MIDI channel two, and the eternity delay on MIDI channel three. Let's go over to the Bridge 4 editor and we'll set up the global settings so that we can connect all of these up to communicate via MIDI. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is import from the device. We'll select our Bridge 4 there, press connect, and it will drag in everything that's already on our Bridge 4. Now it's a completely factory reset Bridge 4, um, so there's nothing much there except for some switch labels and some generic bank names. Okay, first things first, we're going to go to our global settings and set our flexi port modes so that they are the 
correct modes for each of our pedals. Now flexi port 1 is connected to the eternity delay and so that needs to be MIDI out type A and flexi port 2 is connected to the Strymon Iridium and that also needs to be set to a MIDI out mode and we will choose MIDI out tip. So we'll save that and then we want to set the MIDI channel. Sorry, we're back into global settings, go into MIDI settings. We're going to set the MIDI channel of our bridge 4 so that it's not on the same channel as our LAM, our Iridium or our Eternity. So let's set it to MIDI channel 1. Now right now that's inconsequential but it's good to start by making sure all your MIDI devices are on different channels so that in the future if you're sending messages to your bridge 4 from another MIDI controller like an app or a computer or a different MIDI controller that we haven't got any conflicts happening. So we'll set that. Now next, just below there, you can see we've got Bank MIDI PC Output. So PC stands for Program Change, and that's a kind of MIDI message that sends pre program or preset change actually is what we often call it. You can see here we've got four different channels, and that's for FlexiPort 1, FlexiPort 2, TRS and USB MIDI outs on the Bridge 4. When you change banks on your Bridge 4, you have the option to automatically send out program change messages based on the bank number that you're changing to. We don't want to use those today, so we're going to turn them off so that we don't have any extra mini messages being sent out without us specifically telling them to. Next, in the global settings UI under interface settings, we're going to change our device UI mode, just for fun, to the simple mode, and that will give us larger switch labels, a larger bank label, and it will remove any other lines or icons on the screen such as the bank index number. Now we also have under these interface settings we have the global LED brightness which I'm just going to bring down a bit for the sake of the camera and I'm going to go down here to hold time. Now the hold time is set in milliseconds and I'm just going to decrease that a bit so that we can trigger hold messages a bit more quickly and make them a bit more useful to us as we set up our pedals. And last but not least, go over here to our bank triggers and just check that those are the combination of foot switch presses you prefer to make your bridge go up and down. So we'll just leave them as the factory defaults. Now we're finished with the global settings. Okay, next up we want to set our MIDI messages and bank names and switch names so that we can start controlling our pedals now that that's all set up. So we're gonna set this to preset changes. That's the bank name. And we'll change this switch label to song one, song two, song three, song four. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add our preset change messages into the press or toggle on message stacks of these switches. Okay, so let's add a MIDI message, program change. And you can see here, as I drop down the channel, we've got these pedal names already in our MIDI channels. However, that's not what our pedals are at. So let's go out of here, go to the app settings button. Now, MIDI channel one is the bridge four. MIDI channel two is the Iridium. MIDI channel three is the Eternity Delay. MIDI channel four is nothing, five is nothing, six is nothing, and seven is the LAM Overdrive. Okay, save that and we go back into create a MIDI message here. Program change, we want to change our LAM overdrive to preset 1, add another MIDI message, change our Strymon Iridium to preset 3, this is all just for example, and then change our Eternity Delay to preset 1. And so now we've got our MIDI channels 7, 2 and 3, sending out program changes 1, 3 and 1. Save and close that. And let's just quickly test that our global settings for sending MIDI are all correct now that we've programmed some MIDI program changes. So we click, we send to device, click on bridge 4, press connect, let that transfer. And now over here you'll see that our bridge 4 has been set to simple UI mode. It's got all our label changes here and all our global settings should be changed as well. So if we press switch one, toggle it on, you'll see that all of our pedals instantly changed to a preset 
that was already set. So if I turn that off, turn that off, turn that off, change the preset on there, change the preset on there, and then do this again, you'll watch them all change, ready? There we go. So those presets are all working great. All the pedals are receiving the MIDI messages. So now we can go back to our editor and set up the rest of our song changes. So we're back over at the editor. We can set up our second song. Toggle on, MIDI message, program change. We want to set our lamb to program change two. Our iridium to program change one. And our eternity delay to program change four. That's preset four. Save and close that. And now what we could actually do to save us some time, go into that switch, copy the current switch settings to the clipboard, go to the next switch, switch three, paste that, and then go to the next one, switch four, paste that. And now you go into these toggle on message stacks and we've actually got those and we can just change our preset numbers. So let's just change those just something different so we can see all the changes happening. Go back into switch three. And you can see here that it's very quick to get those preset changes saved. So we save and close that, send that to the device. And now when we go back over to the pedal board, you'll see that everything's changing. Back on the pedal board here, and if I press song two up here, oh, they're all copied song two because I just copied all the switch settings and didn't check the labels. Anyway, all the messages are different because we set them. So let's press this one. See the preset changes, preset changes again, preset changes again. Now, here's problem number one. I've pressed these four switches and they've all been toggled on because they're in toggle mode. But check this out, now all the lights are on. So which one is currently on? I can't really tell by just looking at this UI. So this is where we use switch groups. So let's go back over to the editor and we'll set up a switch group which will make these LEDs only turn on one at a time. So when I toggle one switch off, all the other switches that are in the group will be told to toggle themselves off. Here we are, we have our songs here. Let's just change those labels that we miss, song three and song four. Now let's go into our bank settings. And in this bank, bank one, we're gonna add these switches to one of our switch groups. So we're going to add song one, which is the primary switch mode and not change any of the settings because those default settings are what we want to just do simple a simple switch group with preset mode and we'll add each of those four songs primary switch one two three four it's as easy as that we just press save and close send to device and when it's finished we'll go over to the pedal board Okay, back over at the pedal board, you can see we've got one switch lit up. We've got our pedals all communicating with the bridge four as usual. Press switch two and switch one's light turns off and all the presets change. So now we know which song we're on. We're on song one, song two, song three, or song four. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. We've got all that working great. So let's run some audio through it and see how it sounds probably won't sound that good because it's all been random, but you'll hear that the sounds are really all changing completely different with just one switch press of the mini controller. Okay, here we got our raw audio coming through. We press song one, song two, song four, song three, song four. You can hear the delay features changing, the distortion features, and even the amp type. And that's just with one switch press. And that is the power of using MIDI even on a mini pedal board like this.